Hi there. Today I'm going to show you how to create your own signature templates in Verifile, and I'm also going to show you how to change the default terms that your signers agree to before they sign your documents. So let's jump right in. You can see my home screen here. I've got my list of workspaces on the left. I'm going to go ahead and open my example workspace here. Now you can see I've got four guests here, but I don't have any workspace threads. So I want to request two signatures at once, which means I'm going to have to use a workspace thread to do that. So I'm going to create a workspace thread by clicking the plus sign next to workspace threads. Give it a name and click OK. Now you'll see it says private, no guests have access yet. That's because I haven't given any of my guests access to this workspace thread. I have to do that in order for them to be able to sign my documents. So I'm going to go ahead and click the gear icon that appears when you hover your mouse over the workspace thread name and then click manage permissions. For this first request, I want Jane and John to sign the document. So I toggle their names and click save. Now you can see their tiles here and you can see their names here, indicating they have access to this workspace thread. So now I need to pick a document. I'm going to click the paperclip, choose a document. I'm also going to type them a short message. Then I need to make sure I check the box next to request signing so that I can set the document up for their signatures. And then I click send. Now it's asking me which of my guests I'd like to have sign this document. I want them both to sign, so I'm going to toggle both Jane and John, and then click Next. Now I'm being shown some options for Jane, my first signer. The first option is asking whether or not I want her to agree to terms before she signs. I do, so I'm going to leave that checked as yes. But I don't want these terms. I want something else. I want my own custom terms. And the nice thing about Verifile is whatever terms you want to use, you can save them as default just by checking this box. The other option is whether or not I want to use an SMS verification code to verify the identity of my signer. In this case, I'm not going to choose that option, so I'm going to leave that checked as no, and then click Next. Now I have the same options for John, but you'll notice the terms are now my custom terms because I checked the box marked Save Terms as Default when I set up Jane. In this case, I do want John to agree to the terms, and I do not want to send him a signature code, so I'll just click Continue. Now I'm setting the document up for my first signer, Jane. So I'm going to get her signature here, and I also want her to add a date here. But now instead of moving on to my next signer, I'm going to use this little tab here to create a signature template. So when I click that tab, it shows all of my templates, and it asks me if I want to save this current configuration as a template. I'm going to click Save as Template, and this will be the name of my template, so I'll just click OK. And now you can see that template is saved here at the top. And it's got a little turquoise dot here because that's the color of Jane's tile. So this is telling me that Jane is using this template for signing this document. So now I'll click Next Signer. You can see the flags here for Jane, but I need to create signature fields for John. So I'll put John here, Signature, and I'll John add the date here. But I also want to save this one as a template. So I'm going to go ahead and click Save Template again. You can see this is the name of this other template, Signer 2. Click OK. And now you can see Signer 2 is also on my list of templates. Both of those templates are saved, and I can use them in the future, which I'll show you in a second. So now I click Finish Request. This is where I have a chance to go back and review all the settings of my request. But I'm pretty sure I got it right, so I'm going to click Submit Request. And Success! So now I want to quickly show you how I can use those templates. I'm going to create another workspace thread. Click OK, and then click Manage Permissions. This time I'm going to give Steve and Mark permission to view this workspace thread. Click Save. Now I'm going to choose the same document. 
type them a message, check the box next to request signing, and click send. Now it's asking me who do I want to have sign this document? I want them both to sign. Click next. I do want them to agree to my custom terms. I do not want to use the signature code for this example on Mark. So I'll click next. Now I'm setting up Steve. I do want Steve to agree to terms. I do not want to use a signature code with Steve. I'll click continue. Now this is where the magic happens. I click templates here. And for Mark, I want to use signer template one. I just click it and you can see those fields appear there for Mark. I click next signer. For Steve, I want to use the template for signer two. Click it and those fields appear. Now I finish request. Again, I don't need to review it. I just click submit. Success. That request has been made. And that's how templates work in Verifile. Thanks so much for watching.